Well, right now I'm standing uh, on top of the roof of Planet Traveler. And Planet Traveler is on College Street. This is going to be a, a hotel. It's a hotel for travelers. It's a hostel. And that's what its primary business objective is, is to act as a working hotel. But underneath that, we've uh, renovated the building, and our claim is that this is North America's greenest hotel. And by green, I'm referring specifically to carbon emissions. So we believe we've cut our carbon emissions by about three quarters from business as usual, and that was really the prime directive that I brought to the project. So the building for me was a test bed. It was a way of finding out what technologies can deliver on carbon emissions and what technologies can deliver on carbon emissions in a profitable way, because I knew that would be a signal for me to make some key venture investments. What we're using are, are existing technologies. So there's nothing really cutting edge here. These are all technologies that have been proven for many years in many, many different buildings. So there's solar thermal, so we use the sun for some hot water. We have solar PV under the MicroFit program here in Ontario. We have a five kilowatt array. The workhorse of the hotel is geothermal, so we use the ground beneath the hotel as a heat source. So we both cool and warm the building using the ground uh, beneath it. Uh, we also have something called a power pipe, so we're essentially grabbing heat out of the drain, so 114 hot, sho hot showers a day, there'll be a lot of hot water going down the drain, and we've got uh, uh, basically a heat exchanger called a power pipe that grabs a lot of that thermal energy before it leaves. So those are all fairly common technologies that you find installed, and what we've really done is just say, let's put them all under the same roof, <laughs> pun intended, uh, to see what kind of reductions that we would be able to generate, and we're easily going to get to the three quarters mark. And the trick to this whole thing, and part of the reason that I sort of I talk about this project a lot is because what we've done here anybody can do. We're making money cutting carbon because the total capital cost of all of that equipment is less than, so the, the interest rate on that capital cost is less than our energy savings. So we're making money from day one. The total additional cost uh, uh, of all this equipment was probably around $200,000. So what we're more interested in is not the absolute cost but the cost differential, the delta if you will. And then we compare that, that, that capital cost savings with the difference in our energy bills. So when we looked at geothermal, for example, we know perfectly well the payback on that geothermal system will be somewhere between three and six years, roughly speaking. Do I care if it's three or six? A little, because I'll make a little more money on day one if it's three years rather than six, but it doesn't matter. If it's 3.5 or 5.8, I'm still making money. It's still worth doing as long as I'm getting that capital at a decent rate. We're making our, our the people who stay here very aware of what we're doing. <clears throat> so our solar array, the PV array, is actually acts as an awning and a rain barrier here on this uh, upper deck. We're not hiding it, we're showing it off because we really think that there's a lot of interest, particularly amongst the people who are going to be staying here, in that green technology. You know, our basement we made into a bit of a museum piece. We're going to have glass walls to show a power pipe in operation, show the geothermal pump in operation, and all that will be part of the aesthetic of the hotel. You know, when I ride my bike to work, you know, to a business meeting, I sort of get smiled at, well, you're the clean tech guy, that's why you did that. You know, obviously as a venture capitalist, I could afford a car, so I must have some reason to ride a bike. Riding a bike is just easier, it's just smarter. With this building, the way we've designed it, the way we're producing and using energy, it's just smarter. There's reasons to do it independent of whether you care about climate change. There are reasons to do it simply because it's smarter, it's more efficient, and it's more profitable. And at the end of the day, that's ultimately the case I'm making. And I'm willing to stick my neck out and make the first move and get all these things installed. I'm going to measure every iota flowing in and out of all these bits of equipment, and that data is open to the public. Anybody can look at it. Anybody can use this building as a way of educating themselves about doing the same thing. So I'm motivated to educate the public, but at the end of the day, this won't seem like an anomaly five or ten years from now. This is going to seem pretty normal.